Although the last major advancements made in the field of space endeavors took place back during the height of the Cold War, it appears that a modern day space race is taking place to kick the National Aeronautics and Space Administration into full gear. Due to the foundation of rivaling private space agencies, such as that of SpaceX and Jeff Bezos' startup, NASA has begun working on missions for the near future in the hopes of beating the rival space companies. So today we'll be taking a look at a few of these new space missions, and what the modern day space race will show for the near future. Multi-Angle Imager for Aerosols one of the growing concerns of the modern day has to do with the number of dangerous toxic materials and waste that has been ejected from factories all over the world, of which hold no concern surrounding the impact their toxic chemicals have on the surrounding environment. This has led to a number of issues such as that of waterways having become infected with large amounts of toxic chemicals. Growing volumes of aerosols pollutants have led to a dramatic rise in birth defects, and issues with cardiovascular disease and nuclear testing from the 1980s have led to a number of areas remaining uninhabitable. All of these factors are causing more than a third of arable land on our planet to become non-arable. This has led the National Aeronautics and Space Administration to take a far more direct approach of understanding the effects of specific pollutants, and tracking where such pollutants might be travelling and their effect into the general population. NASA announced the construction of the Multi-Angle Imager for Aerosols, an instrument that measures the radiance and polarization of sunlight scattered by atmospheric aerosols to track the movement of such aerosols. The expected launch date of the project is the year 2022, only a short three years away. This is to help lead a new study in the effects of such pollutants on the general public. The NASA website included the following statement in their mission statement on the objectives of the multi-angular imager for aerosols. The project will make radiometric and polyometric measurements needed to characterize the sizes, compositions and quantities of particular matter in air pollution. As part of the mission's investigation, researchers will combine measurements with populated health records to better understand the connection between aerosol pollutants and health problems such as adverse birth outcomes, cardiovascular and premature deaths. They expect that by gathering the data, they will be more able to discover which factories might be violating population laws, or expose other countries' behaviour surrounding their relaxed policies of allowing such global devastation with toxic chemical release into the atmosphere. The Lunar Launch Mission Jeff Bezos' competitive space agency known as Blue Origins has made a number of recent announcements. Not only do they plan on revisiting the lunar surface after nearly half a century of humans not visiting the moon, but the agency has made several significant advancements in lunar rocketry that allow their new lines of rockets to be able to carry a large amount of weight in their transportation to the surface of the moon as compared to any other previous lunar mission as scheduled by the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. In an effort to not be outdone by such a new and emerging space agency, NASA has begun taking a look into its lunar projects, with the establishment of the new Artemis project that claims that not only will NASA be making attempts to return to the lunar surface, but that a serious plan for construction on the moon will begin to support future Mars missions. NASA plans on using a newly developed rocket known as the SLS, and this will send human inhabitants to the lunar surface via the Orion spacecraft. Once the astronauts arrive, they will begin their second phase of the mission, of which details the team working and living on the lunar surface using a number of technologies that will have arrived by the Lunar Gateway spacecraft. The third phase of this project will feature the astronauts using a wide number of robotic technologies, rovers and surveying equipment to explore the entire lunar surface, mapping out the entire celestial body in detail for construction information. The first expected area of exploration is the lunar south pole, in which the team will attempt to find and use any water located at the pole, and develop ways to live and operate on the surface for future Mars missions. If the project is successful, 
the new Artemis project could see the moon being used as a launching station for astronauts to conserve fuel by launching from the low-gravity lunar surface and begin their two-year journey to the Martian surface. Although NASA expects to land astronauts on the moon by 2024, full-on construction and habitation efforts will most likely not be realised until 2030. The Martian Human Exploration Mission Elon Musk first announced his mission to establish human colonies on the Martian surface back in 2018, with a full and comprehensive plan laid out to help see the mission through. This Martian colonization plan held a detailed statement that SpaceX will be expected for launch by the year 2021, with the end of the initial Martian colonization establishment being made by the year 2025. Seen by many as a knee-jerk reaction to such statements, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, in response to the ambitious plans laid out by SpaceX, quickly announced the upcoming projects known as the Mars Exploration Mission. They will help to pave the way for future colonization efforts on Mars. In a corporate space race, NASA have announced they've begun work on a Moon to Mars mission, and that plans on sending humans back to the Moon in 2024 and then from there onto the Martian surface and that they hope to do this by 2033. Jim Bridstein, the current administrator of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, announced on the 15th of July 2019 that the new Artemis project, the project featuring the space agency's return to the moon missions, would definitely include plans on human Martian endeavors. Bridenstine elaborated on the plans with the following statement targeted towards the new Artemis mission, saying the following, we are working right now to put together a comprehensive plan on how we would conduct a Mars mission, using the technologies that we will be proving at the Moon. Unfortunately, despite these claims and this new rush to beat the SpaceX Mars colonization developments, a report has surfaced from the Science and Technology Policy Institute that detailed information and proof to be provided to the United States Congress. This states that NASA does not have the technology and infrastructure to sustain or craft a Mars mission whatsoever by the year 2033. The report also assumed that even if NASA's budget was treated as an unlimited resource, the time constraints and project specifications would be impossible to meet with NASA's current employee numbers, work output and overall technological advancements. The reports detail the following. We find that even without budget constraints, a Mars 2033 orbital mission cannot be realistically scheduled under NASA's current plan. Despite this report and additional supporting claims by other corporate space agencies, the organization still feels capable of supporting a 2033 Mars mission and holds plans further explored in the Mars Exploration Mission that will use a number of Martian rovers to gather complex information on water gathering techniques and soil deposits on the red planet to decide what course of action will be best for human colonization efforts. The Europa Lander Although this future NASA mission is still being planned, there appears to be real plans made by the organization to develop a future mission that would begin to look for signs of life on the surface of Jupiter's moon known as Europa. Known as the Europa Lander mission, NASA scientists theorize the most likely candidate for life to be found in our solar system is expected to be within the icy surface of Europa, and is said to be holding a vast amount of water beneath the frozen surface. Data surrounding Europa believes the Moon holds a vast salty ocean of water, similar to our oceans on Earth. These are said to span the Moon's entire globe. Additionally, due to the frozen surface, scientists expect the conditions of the water to be favorable as the ice surface acts as a natural atmospheric barrier against radiation, similar to our electromagnetic field, giving life desirable conditions to flourish without its deep oceans. NASA plans on sending a rover to the Moon in the attempts to penetrate the surface, and collect samples more than 4 inches deep to better understand the complex chemistry of materials from the ocean below. Efforts are already being made by NASA engineers to design a rover similar to the Martian rover, 
that will carry a military laboratory within the lander to analyse samples, but with the addition of an onboard chemical analysis lab, that will be able to hold microscopic cameras for the analysation and bacterial of microbe life. Although the project is still in its conceptual stages, it holds high promise in the search for extraterrestrial life, and seems to be a growing priority in the coming years. So what do you think of these incredible advancements in the modern age surrounding the developments of future space missions, and the National Aeronautics and Space Administration's push towards colonisation efforts? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below, and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.